Minister of Interior Mr. Olubumi Tunjiojo has urged implementation of individual and corporate identity management systems as a critical strategy in the fight against terrorism financing in Nigeria. He made this call during the opening of a three-day national training workshop on counter-terrorism financing in Abuja. ADBN's correspondent, Fumilola Ademi, brings us details. Terrorism financing often involves trade and other profitable activities, including the smuggling of arms, assets, and currency by cash couriers, as well as drug trafficking. This underscores the importance of the workshop in addressing these issues. The minister explained that to effectively combat ideological challenges, a hybrid approach is essential. So, when you're fighting an ideological battle, you have to come up with what I call the hybrid approach of the kinetic and, of course, the non kinetic solution. Director of the Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit, Ms. Afsad Bakari, and Mr. Koju Ateso, representing the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crimes, both expressed their commitment to supporting initiatives aimed at countering terrorism financing in the country. At the NFIU, we recognize that to successfully disrupt terrorist activities and ultimately dismantle terrorist organizations, efforts must be geared towards not only apprehending the individuals who commit acts of terror, but also to tracing and cutting off the funds that fuel their activities. So the threat uh, is becoming more and more pressing given the speed over of terrorism activity uh, to the uh, Gulf of Guinea countries. Long time terrorism, the attack were limited to Sahel country and we know the situation of also Boko Haram in Nigeria but nowadays all the country, even those in the Gulf of Guinea, uh, I mean Togo, Benin, uh, Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, all country are facing uh, the threat of terrorism attack. Representative of the Director General of the Intergovernmental Action Group Against Money Laundry in West Africa, Mr. Jeffrey Simi, highlighted that tackling terrorism financing in West Africa is crucial for saving lives. We know that terrorists and terrorist organizations need money to carry out their operations. Money or finance is the life wire of terrorist operations. So if you take the money out of their operations, you disable them and you render them important. They cannot operate without money. Therefore, taking money from terrorists greatly prevents attacks and saves lives. By committing to implementing the FTF recommendations, we save lives. So we're here to save lives. And when we talk about terrorism, we're talking about human lives, the lives of our dear ones. Fumilola 